The topic of this video is finding vertical asymptotes of a rational function. Let's look at a problem. Capital F of x equals the rational function whose numerator is x cubed plus 1 and whose denominator is x squared minus 1. Okay, the steps for finding vertical asymptotes of a rational function are as follows. Factor each numerator and denominator and reduce to lowest terms. Then set the reduced denominator equal to 0 and solve for x. That will give you your vertical asymptotes, if any. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through that process. Let's use our side workspace to do our factoring. All right, we need to factor both the numerator and the denominator. Let's do the denominator first. We have to do both of them. We can do them in any order, and the denominator is easier. So x squared minus 1. This is a difference of squares. It's an x squared minus a 1 squared. So this factors as x plus 1, x minus 1. All right, there we go. Easy one out of the way. Now let's turn our attention to the numerator, x cubed plus 1 x cubed plus 1 is a sum of cubes. I know that because x to the third power can be rewritten as something cubed, and 1 can be rewritten as something cubed. What has to go in these parentheses so that when you raise it to the third power you get x cubed? x. What has to go in the parentheses so that when you raise it to the third power you get 1? 1. So we can see that this is of the proper form, something cubed plus something cubed a cubed plus b cubed. So we'll use our sum of cubes factoring formula, where a is x and b is 1. And when we factor, we're going to get what we have on the right-hand side here. a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. We just have to plug into our factoring formula. Everywhere we see an a, we'll put x. Everywhere we see a b, we'll put 1. So we get x plus 1, x squared minus x times 1 plus 1 squared. Simplifying this, we get x plus 1, x squared minus x plus 1. Okay, great. We've done both of our factorings, so now we can rewrite our original function using the factored form. So up top, we're going to get x plus 1 x squared minus x plus 1. And down below, we're going to get x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, factoring is done. Now comes the reducing step. We notice that we have a common factor, top and bottom. So those are both going to cancel to the number 1. And remember that anything times 1 is itself. So our reduced function f of x is equal to x squared minus x plus 1 over x minus 1. Okay, so now we're ready for the final step of this problem, which is to set our denominator equal to 0. Our reduced denominator has to be set equal to 0. So I get x minus 1 equals 0, and by adding 1 on both sides, I get x equals 1. This is the equation of the vertical asymptote. It's not just the value of x, it's also an equation form. Remember from your previous math learnings that x equals 1 is the equation of a vertical line. If I were to graph the line x equals 1, it would be a vertical line that crosses the x-axis at 1. So this is what a vertical asymptote looks like. Okay, we are done with this problem. We found the only vertical asymptote for this particular rational function.